Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's lovely to see you all this morning. Thank you for coming into our chapel service so beautifully, so respectfully. Um, it's our first junior school chapel service for 2021, which is pretty exciting. And I'd particularly like to welcome our press, our foundation students, to their first chapel service. It's lovely to have you. We are just ready to go. <laughs> Uh, so, um, it's a really special time at the moment in our church calendar. Does anyone know what time of the year it is that we are remembering or observing at the moment? Yeah. It is. It's Lent. Well done. So this morning we're going to talk a little bit about Lent and what Lent means to us. Um, so I'm going to start with our first scripture sentence or our psalm, which is, Come, let us praise the Lord, and let us sing for joy to God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Lord, have mercy on us, and write your law in our hearts by your Holy Spirit. Please stand for this good prayer. Lord, this is our school. Let us get strong here. Let the rooms be full of contentment, let love abide here. Love of one another, love of humankind, love of life itself, and love of God. May we always remember that as many hands have been cast, so many hearts have been as a soul. You may not be
Bible reading from Mark's Gospel. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. Hear the word of the Lord. your help this morning everybody so hopefully you, you will be able to help me I'm pretty excited at the moment because I'm preparing for a holiday uh, I'm actually preparing to go on a hiking holiday so into the bush and, and hiking I'm really excited but I know I have to be really well prepared for this holiday um, because there's lots of things that I need to be ready for that's where you come in I need you to help me to decide how I'm going to get prepared, what I need to be ready for. I've brought my bag with me. So I've got my pack. It's got a few things in it that I'm going to take on my holiday. I want you to tell me if you think I've got the right thing for a holiday camping and hiking, okay? I've got some sunscreen. That's pretty important. Yeah? Yeah? Um, what else do you think I might need? Some food? Yeah, some snacks? Yeah? I've got a hat. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a hat. Yeah? I've got my hiking shoes. And a pair of socks in case my feet get wet. Yeah? Am I doing okay so far? Have I got good things? Good. I was a bit worried because I really I thought you guys would need good help today. Um, what else? Oh, I know you said water. Yeah? yeah. Got my water bottle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get some food ready as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I'm really sorry, guys. My phone threw me. Can you just bear with me for a second? I'm just going to grab this call. Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Change of plans. Oh, what plans are changing? Oh, this is Swatha, by the way. She's helping me get ready. Plans changing. We're not going on a hike anymore. Really? I was looking forward to that. Where are we going? We're going on a cruise to Fiji. Fantastic. Do you know what? I think I need to go home and repack my bag, though, because I got for a hiking trip. I'll call you that. Wow. That is quite a change of plans. Now I'm not going on a hike anymore. I'm going on a cruise. Who's been on a cruise before? You lucky people. That's a bit exciting. Um, got a bit of a problem though. Half the things that I packed in my bag I'm probably not going to need on my cruise. I'm probably not going to need my hiking shoes, that's for sure. Anyway, you know, it's not what I expected, but that's okay. I'm sure I can get ready for a cruise to Fiji. You know, sometimes we do get caught off guard, and it's important to be prepared for anything that might come along. We know that Jesus was well prepared, and in today's reading from Mr Willett, we heard all about he, how he was going to be prepared for the work that he had to do. Jesus took a trip out into the wilderness and his purpose of that trip was to prepare his heart for the job that God was going to have him do. When he went into the wilderness, he didn't take with him any water or sunscreen or a hat. He didn't even take food. For 40 days, he didn't eat anything. By the end of that time, he was pretty hungry. Who reckons they would be hungry after not eating for 40 days? Yeah, me too. I'd be hangry, I think. You know, hungry and angry at the same time? That would be me. Anyway, even though at 
the end of those 40 days, when Jesus was really hungry and Satan came to tempt him and to say, hey, why don't you just make yourself a sandwich? Jesus stayed strong. He didn't give in. He knew that it was important for him to suffer and he suffered for us. He, he suffered in order to save us and provide comfort for us. He used that time he had in the wilderness to get ready for what was lying ahead. He was getting prepared. That's our job during Lent. Our job is to prepare for what might lie ahead. The season of Lent is the time where we remember the 40 days that Jesus spent in the desert and the temptation that he faced. During the season of Lent, a lot of people give something up that they enjoy, like watching TV or eating chocolate. And although they might be tempted sometimes to sneak a little bit of what they've given up, just a little bit of chocolate, uh, won't matter, they actually stay strong. They remember the sacrifice that Jesus made for them, and they don't eat the little bit of chocolate. They stay strong. Sometimes people like to do things during Lent to help others. They might like to do some volunteering, or they might like to donate some things that they have, or some small change to people who need it. Again, the idea is that we prepare our hearts and minds. Rather than thinking about distracting things, like chocolate, we focus on Christ. We think about what he went through when he was in the desert. And we prepare ourselves and our hearts to celebrate his resurrection at Easter. Who he's looking forward to Easter? Yeah, I bet. Lots of good things happening at Easter. Um, so in finishing, I want to ask us to have a think about the things that we are doing during our Lent season. What things are we staying focused on? You know, it might be that we're looking out for our friends and we're staying focused on that. It might be that we're helping out at home a little bit more and we're staying focused on that. We're not getting distracted. We are also thinking about being prepared to live our lives for God. After all, you never know what he has in mind for you. His plans are actually usually different than what you might think. You know, you think you might be going camping when actually you're going on a cruise to Fiji. Um, and I'd like you to join me in this prayer if you can. Up and over your head there. Loving God, thank you for sending Jesus to live a perfect life. Thank you that he can help us when we are tempted. Help us to prepare our hearts and minds so that we can serve you and do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And in our next lot of prayers, I'd like you guys to help me again. And the words that are in bold are the words that you're going to read out after me. Loving God, keep Keep our nation under your care. Lord. Let's try that again. I'm going to read the bit that's not in bold, and you're going to read the bit that is, that said, Lord God, bring light and love. Nice and loud. Lord God, bring light and love. Well done. Guide us in justice and truth. Lord God, bring light and love. Give peace in our time. Lord God, bring light and love. Where there is darkness, cruelty, ignorance, fear or grief, Lord God, bring light and love. Where people are fighting or suffering or in despair, Lord God, bring light and love. When we feel upset or weary or fearful, Lord God, bring light and love. Well done. Thank you. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as, Saviour, as our Saviour has taught us. 
Please stand for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the harm of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord are angels, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, everybody. That brings us to the end of our short chapel service this morning. So I'm going to send you out with something we call the grace. So it's just a nice prayer and a way to finish. And then we've got another song, and then your teachers will take you off to your classrooms. So may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen. Sing like this.